Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legends 3. Last time we made it here to this puzzle room, and now we need to figure out what we need to do. Now if you'll notice there's four rocks, and there's four waterfalls, so what do we need to do? We need to put all the rocks on the water in order to stop the water from flowing. And I'll show you how to do that real fast. First thing you do is just go down here, real easy. Then we can go over here, and push that down over there, and just like that, that stops that one, and this way, over here, over here, and like that, now we go up this way, yep, yeah. now there's probably a faster way to do this, so if you know it, you know, uh, feel free to do that, do that, but this is just the way that I've done that works. Over here, now up, jump across, and they're all stopped. Now if you head back out this way, you hear the shaking and something locked. And you notice that we now can't go back into that room. So, we've uh, taken care of that. So let's head up this way then. And head over here. Now we're going to keep going to the left, past this chest down over here and we get another chest which contains a smother skill but we already have a more powerful skill so we don't need to worry about that and the wizard armor which if you want to use that you can okay let's head down this way and down into this staircase two paths we want to head to the right first okay let's keep going this way and down in here to another puzzle room. Let me take a second, check my notes, be right back. Okay, sorry, I had to check and make sure I knew how to do this one, and of course I do. So, let's head up this way first. We want to jump over, take care of this rock first. Over two, down like that. Back up this way. Over like that. And down. This one you just push over two, and down five. And then this one is just over. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. And done. All right, cool. Set it this way. And we get a chest. And we get a drain sword. Now that can take uh, HP from the enemy and give it to you. We're not going to really use it for right now because we're in good shape. Let's head over this way. And leads back to the final puzzle room. So let me take one moment to check things over. Be right back. Okay, sorry. There's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to get one chest. And we want to go down this way. And you have to get this one now because as soon as you're done with the other room, uh, you automatically leave. Oh, shoot. Come on. Okay, well, uh, we'll get rid of the relaxed portion. No, we really need that. And we get a warm accessory, which is nice. Okay, we got some new enemies here. We got the Liz Duke along with the Hunters and the Tattlers. Now they should go down because of Quake, so we'll take care of that. And do that. I don't know why I like taking out the Tattlers first. It doesn't really matter. Ow. Maybe that's one reason, because of that dual attack they got there. Boom! Oh, come on. Gotta be more successful than that. This might actually take more than one round. Ooh, he's got a sword there. A good, a decent sword, too. Alright, that should take out of most of these guys. All the Liz dudes, anyway. Good job, team. Ow. Stop that. Alright. And we'll just take care of this real quick. And, alright. Nice job, everybody. Well done. Hey, we get a level up. Alright. Uh-oh. She turned into a Mephisto. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Anyway, let's head back up here. And down into this cave, back to this room. Okay, now, this one's a little bit more tricky than the rest of them. So, we want to go ahead and do this one first. Jump over. And push this one down three times. Okay, now, uh, let's see, like that. And down like that. Cool. Now this one you want to push over twice, but not move it just yet. Now this one you want to go here, 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 and down. 
Okay. Now this one, I'm gonna push up first. Right. Twice. Down. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. And just like that. As soon as you do that, the water has stopped. Let's go. So you're automatically warped out of the cave. And check that out. And now the water's gone, so we can explore the next part of the world. Let me take a second and heal up, and I'll be... Uh, also, um, I'm going to change Sharon back into a human, I believe. Let me just double-check, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'll meet you once I've healed up. Okay, I'm back. Uh, one thing I did do was I equipped Arthur with the Duren sword, and I turned Sharon back to a human, like I said I was going to do, uh, just because of what's going to be happening next. Now, we need to head north, just like they told us to do. Yeah, we're just gonna head north here. Uh oh. The storm's got us. Oh man, that's some pretty devastating music. What could that mean? Is everything okay? The sandstorm monster, Jorgander. What? And it's a boss fight time. Ugh, that is one ugly looking thing. Now, Jorgander is an odd boss in that he is. He is pretty much immune, or he's strong against almost everything in the game. The only thing he's not strong against is the Mystic Sword Durin, which I have. So, everyone else is pretty much just going to be uh, just chilling and hanging out. Uh, sorry, I'm going to parry there. You're going to parry there. Everyone else is going to cast fast on my hero so that he can boost his attack power. And everyone else is just going to heal. Yeah, and he's new. he only has Jorgander's got about four thousand HP. So, oops. By the way, you push the start button to switch from the parry and guard menu too. Uh, everyone else is just gonna cast fast, and it'll take about five rounds to defeat him. Ow! And everyone else is just gonna cure. And you can use a uh, fast over and over again to keep increasing his attack, as you can see. And uh, you cast Cure on Fey, fast and fast. Ow. You gotta be careful. He's also got an attack called Storm, which can lower everyone's agility. Man, he's doing some decent damage. That's pretty sweet. Over there. And fast. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. There we go. Ow. Yeah, you gotta be careful. The enemies start to start doing a lot of damage. You just need to be careful of that. And one more should do it. One or two more, anyway. And... Got him. Alright. Nice job. Ooh, we got a lot of experience for that. That's pretty sweet. Oh, man, but the Talon has been destroyed. Oh, my gosh. We have to go to Talonsburg. Something tells me that we may be able to get some new information about a Talon at Talonsburg. Just a thought. Anyways, let's head north. We're gonna head up this way here. Let's keep on fast. There's a village there. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, we're here in the town. Borgen left for God alone. So Borgen's here? Oh, Dr. Quaser is waiting for us, okay. Yeah, we've seen a room similar to this before. Hmm, the got region inside the barrier. Alright. Well, let's head to this back room. There was some treasure here last time. And we get back the hover unit. Very nice. And a shield. Alright. Well, let's see what we got over here now. Talon uses a human mind for its control system. Whatever does that mean? Well, it turns out I'm running low on time, so you're just going to have to wait until next time to find out. 
But until the next time we meet, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.